assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to nuclear physics uh, and today's lectures we will talk about energy conservations and energy release and uh, nuclear reactions i'm dr Pravez ahmed uh, so let's move towards today's topic so first uh, we will try to discuss about uh, energy conservations and uh, nuclear reactions so let's have a particular nuclear reaction just like you can see it here so we have uh, lithium-6 as a target and that targets will be uh, we're trying to hit by uh, a pro uh, deuterium nucleus so we have a collision uh, between the lithium-6 and the deuterium so as a result of that nuclear reactions we have two alpha particles so uh, it's up to you I mean you you can write the nuclear reaction like this or you can write in this i mean it's in both both are being the same so that we have the targets is lithium and uh, uh, that target is being bombarded by uh, the deuteriums and as a result of that we can have two alpha particles so uh, what actually may be the, the possible result when we have this kind of reactions so you know that when these reactions happen so as a result of these reactions kinetic energy may be released during the course of the reactions or the kinetic energy may have to be supplied for the reactions to take place so uh, the first case I mean it's uh, where we say that uh, we have this kind of reactions and if we say that the kinetic energy uh, I mean uh, 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 the kinetic energy may be released during the course of reaction so uh, that then in that particular case we call such a nuclear reaction as exothermic reactions but if we say that we have uh, this particular reactions and if, as a result of this particular reaction we say that we have to supply energy uh, to these particles uh, so in that particular case we say that uh, the nuclear reaction should be uh, endothermic uh, nuclear uh, reactions so uh, the reactions energy I mean uh, the energy which is being generated as uh, a result of this particular uh, nuclear uh, reactions uh, so the reaction energy called uh, Q value uh, is given by the energy conservations as the difference and the mass of the initials and the final particles uh, multiplied by uh, the C square. So uh, what it means and how we can write it mathematically, I mean this statement uh, that is the reaction energy that we call the Q value, uh, we can write it looks like this, I mean uh, we given its definitions. We saying that it's uh, equal to uh, the difference of the masses of the reactants and the product and multiply the whole multiply by the c square um, so uh, what we have in term of this q value so just like we mentioned on the previous slide uh, if the q value is positive uh, I mean so you do all the process you put the values uh, you put the values and you find out the difference and then you multiply the whole with the c square so if you find that the, the value of the q is positive so it would mean that the reaction is ag uh, exothermic i mean so we can have uh, some sort of heat as a result of that particular reactions but if you find that you do all the calculations and as a result of that calculation you find out that you have a negative value for the Q so in that particular case uh, it means that the reaction is endothermic it means that we have to supply some energy in order for the reaction to happen so law of conservation of total uh, relativistic energy uh, is basically uh, mass energy plus kinetic energy uh, and our basic reactions uh, is goes like uh, we have uh, I mean energy this is the mass energy plus the kinetic energy um, of the projectile or the incident particle plus uh, the mass energy plus the kinetic energy of the target which is equal to uh, the mass energy of the first uh, uh, direct nuclei or the product uh, plus the kinetic energy of that particular nuclei plus uh, the mass energy of the second nuclei and plus the kinetic energy uh, of the second nuclei so rearranging these relations uh, we get uh, I mean we can rearrange this equation just to find a simple relations for the uh, Q value. I mean, you can just make the uh, the similar term that is the mass energy for uh, I mean the incident particles and uh, 
uh, the target nucleus on the reacting sites minus uh, the mass energy of the first daughter nuclei uh, and the, ma uh, the mass energy of the second nuclei that should be equal to uh, the kinetic energy of the uh, daughter nuclei uh, first daughter nuclei first the kinetic energy second daughter nuclei minus uh, the kinetic energy of the uh, projectile plus the kinetic energy of the uh, the target nucleus so you get a sample relation that is the q values which is basically equal to uh, uh, final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy and this is the sample relation for finding out the q values uh, so if you consider a practical example for finding of the q values uh, so uh, we can again consider the relations uh, the reactions between the lithium-6 and uh, deuteriums it is the result of which we uh, we get two other particles so we have uh, the rest mass on the left hand side that is uh, the mass of the lithium-6 that is equal to 6.015 plus the mass of the deuterium is equal to 2.014 if you uh, sum up so it's equal to 8.029 u similarly uh, we have total rest mass on the right side that is we have 12 particle you multiply that with the 2 uh, so you get it equal to at 0.0052 uh, units so then you get the missing ma rest mass just by subtracting one from the other so you get the missing mass equal to uh, 0 0.0238 uh, units so what do you do to find out the energy release uh, the energy release as a uh, uh, as a, uh, this particular reactions as a result of this particular reaction the energy release will be equal to uh, I mean the process is very simple you just multiply this uh, this missing mass by 931 uh, 931 mega electron volt which is the the value of the c square in term of energy so you get the values is equal to 22.4 mega electron volt i mean this is the particular uh, amount of energy it should be released when we hit a uh, lithium lithium 6 by a deuterium and as a result of which uh, we have two alpha particle so along with those total particles, we will have this much of the energy. So the energy release and the nuclear reactions, uh, you know that um, energy release and nuclear reactions can appear mainly in one of the three ways. I mean, it's, uh, there are three possibilities. Uh, and at least one of which uh, may be possible whenever we have a nuclear reactions. I mean, uh, uh, at least in one of the following uh, may be possible whenever a nuclear reactions uh, occur so we say that the energy can be released in a form of kinetic energy of the product particle i mean this is the first possibility we can have the second possibility that is uh, the energy can be in the form of emission of very high energy photons that we call uh, gamma rays or uh, we can also have the third possibility that is some energies may remain and the nucleus uh, as a metastable uh, metastable or excited energy level I mean these are the three possibilities uh, of which one may uh, be the possible one uh, in a particular nuclear reactions so uh, in writing down the reaction equations uh, one may in addition uh, give the reaction energy on the right side is uh, that is uh, target nucleus plus projectile uh, that's equal to a product nucleus plus the ejectiles plus q values so again if we consider the, the, the previous reactions that it's lithium-6 uh, we had it by the deuterium and as a result of that we have two of a particle so if you write these equations uh, you know that for this equation we have the energy uh, that the q value equal to 22.4 mega electrons wall so hence we may represent uh, the reaction as I mean we can write this reaction like this that is uh, lithium 6 plus deuterium that gives uh, alpha particle plus alpha particle the second alpha particle and along with that 22.4 uh, mega electron volt energy uh, so uh, now by, by, by knowing about uh, energy conservations and uh, energy release during nuclear reactions you might be able to deal with some problems I mean you, you might be now experts to calculate Q values of the following nuclear reactions I mean now you're experts you know about the Q values you know about how the energy release and nuclear the nuclear reactions 
so uh, by uh, by just uh, applying some of your expertise uh, you need to solve uh, some of the, the problem that is the first problem is given to you is that uh, we have lithium-7 uh, and that we bombard by uh, protons and as a result of that we have 12 per particle along with that we have Q uh, Q value and what you need to do you need to find out the Q value um, the, the masses of the lithium-7 is given is 7.0160 1 U uh, similarly, the mass of the proton is given, the mass of the alpha particle is given. So what you need to do, you, you need to find out the Q values uh, just by utilizing your expertise as uh, you learned on the previous slide. Uh, along with that, you have to find out another example, another problem. Uh, and, and this problem, again, you have to find out the Q values. Again, the, the, the values, uh, I mean, the your, your values for the uranium. The mass of uranium is given, the mass of the neutron is given, kryptons and barium. It's all been given, so what you need to do, you need to find out the Q values. Uh, and the same process you have to repeat for problem number three, that we have a collision between the two deuterium nucleus. And you have to find out the Q values, the others, uh, I mean, spectra they are being given. So uh, with all this, we come to an end uh, of these lectures. So I'll see you with the next lecture very soon. So uh, till then, bye-bye.